It is a right and a good and joyful thing. Nearly every Sunday, Episcopalians hear those words as part of the introduction to the great thanksgiving, that long narrative liturgical prayer that is central to our Eucharist. The celebrant says, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, and the people respond, it is right to give God thanks and praise. And then the celebrant says, it is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. It is right and a good and joyful thing to give thanks. While it may be a good and joyful thing for us as humans to give thanks, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's really difficult to give thanks. And sometimes it's even more difficult to be joyful. And during this long, long season of COVID-19, our days have been stretched and we have been challenged to find our joy. Almost a year ago, we gathered briefly outside after church. Joy Oates and Julie Swartz had spray painted joy in the grass. And we filled up those empty spaces, standing shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, hand in hand, we laughed as Ned climbed up on the ladder and attempted to provide direction. And then we watched with amazement as John Coleman flew a drone up above and recorded the experience for us. It was pretty easy to be filled with joy that day. Now we long to simply to be able to stand in the same room together. Psalm 133 speaks of that desire to join together and to be gathered together for worship. How very good and joyful it is when kindred live and worship together in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore. In this very brief psalm, that was all the verses that I just read, it tells the story of the Jewish people traveling this was probably a psalm that they said together as they were journeying to Jerusalem for one of their religious festivals. And the words reflect the joy of coming together to worship and the assurance that God is with them. While we continue on this long journey, we long to be together. And we know, though, that God is with us wherever we are. A couple of weeks ago in our Zoom staff meeting, we began to share stories of what we had heard from others who had found new ways to experience joy during this pandemic. Some folks are learning new skills, while others are taking their talents and gifts and applying them in new ways. People are finding ways to be creative and we want to share those stories with you, those ways that people are finding joy, ways that people are deepening their relationship with God. Certainly creativity is a gift from God, and we are delighted to share with you in the days ahead stories of how people are finding joy during this pandemic. Remember that you are loved, and God bless you.